Hey everyone, let me show you the task for today. I will try to recover gold from these fingers. These are 29 boards I won on auction and I already collected all the palladium containing capacitors from them. Now it's time for these gold fingers to trim them and to dissolve the base metal and recover gold from them. It's really interesting to me to see how much gold I'll get from these boards because gold plating is really thick. So let's start. I'll use my garden scissors and just cut these uh, fingers from all 29 boards. At the end, I'll show you the result. I will not waste your time looking at me doing this 29 times. Because I think important is the final result sometimes, not how you reach it. It can be slow and boring process. So I'm back. My pins are ready, all cut and washed. I have my chemicals here. This is um, citric acid, this is table salt, and this is hydrogen peroxide, 30%. So, because citric acid is not easy to dissolve, usually it takes some time, I decided to use my magnetic stirrer and um, speed up the process a little bit. So let's start and let's try to dissolve. In this beaker I have 300 milliliters of uh, water and I will add first the citric acid. For the table salt I'm sure it will dissolve quickly, but for the citric acid it takes time. I will not start the heating because I prefer to keep my solution uh, room temperature when I add later the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, almost done. I think um, maybe a few crystals I see on the bottom. I will add now the table salt. Here we go. Okay, so we have about 200 milliliters. After adding table salt and citric acid, um, it looks like a hundred milliliters more. Uh, the exact quantity you'll see in the description of all these chemicals that I use. For the hydrogen peroxide, I can say it's 25 milliliters, 30 percent. I will add it now. And let's wait until table salt and citric acid are fully dissolved. Okay, it takes a couple of minutes. Solution is uh, cleaner now. I don't see any crystals of the citric acid not dissolved. So I think I can stop the stirrer now. And I can probably remove this magnetic steer from inside. I don't need it. It's a quite strong magnet. Okay, now I can add my pins to this solution. It's not really dangerous, but I always use my gloves when I work with uh, uh, peroxide acids, they, they, they just irritate the skin, something I really don't want to happen all day to me. Okay, so reaction started. Let's check it in a couple of minutes. Okay, five minutes later, I see that reaction started because I see bubbles on top of the gold plating. Uh, what actually is happening in this beaker now? Uh, we have uh, citric acid and citric acid is really good at dissolving copper. So what will happen here is all copper below the gold plating will be dissolved by the citric acid and that's how we will remove the gold plating from these fingers. 
I'll put it now outside and just wait about two hours and show you the result in two hours. So, one hour later, these are our trimmed fingers. So you can see inside it's green, so copper is dissolving. You see many bubbles, which means the reaction is uh, going quite fast now, but uh, uh, let's say it's under control. Uh, it's not too quick, nothing is splashing or no issues around. And I will just leave it for another one hour and check with you what happens. Okay, so after it about two hours, I have maybe 50% of my gold plating removed and the solution is exhausted. So I have to restart the reaction. How to restart the reaction? I should add peroxide. If I add peroxide, reaction will immediately restart. And um, I meanwhile decided to filter the gold that is already removed from the fingers. So here you can see it. Okay, I have to do one more cycle. I will just add peroxide and continue with this reaction. And meanwhile, I will filter this gold and prepare for refining with aqua regia. Hey again, so that's the final product. You can see what is left from these gold plated fingers and that's the gold plating. My plan is to refine it now in aqua regia and I will show you the final melted result.